What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the studio. So with all the stuff that came out this past weekend for San Diego Comic-Con, I know I missed some things and more videos is coming out later on in the week and also throughout the months because some of these movies and TV shows aren't coming out in, from like either a year or two from now. So some of them I'm going to hold off on and some of them I'm going to wait until as we grow closer to these TV shows like Secret Invasion, Loki Season 2, Echo, same thing with the movies. I did Wakanda Forever because of the fact that Wakanda Forever is actually, we are very close to November. Just, just think about it. We're at the end of July. It's about to be August. We're almost at the end of the year, y'all. It's crazy, ain't it? Then on top of that, too, we also got Quantumania. I talked about that because that's in February. So the closer we get to these movies and TV shows, the more I will speak on them and also, you know, elaborate more on the shows and movies because there's not much we know about these TV shows. And on top of that, too, we still got D23 or D12, whatever Disney's little showcase they do in September where they show off a lot of stuff as well. So hopefully we will get more things that's coming out later on down the line, like the cast for Fantastic Four, cast for Blade, the cast for Echo, the cast for Daredevil, all that jazz. The more news that comes out, the more stuff I will, you know, more videos I'll make on that subject matter. But there is one thing I do want to talk about that will close out all the Marvel stuff from San Diego on this channel. And that is Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. So I did speak about it at the beginning. I did speak about it in a, a video, a couple videos ago where we did talk about everything that was announced for San Diego Comic-Con. But I wanted to elaborate more on it because of the fact that once Wakanda Forever comes out, that's the end of phase four. So phase five starts off with Quatamania, and pretty much that's the Quatam realm. And that's where we get to meet Jonathan. Well, we met Jonathan Major as Kang the Conqueror already in Loki, but we get to meet him again and officially get to meet the evil Kang the Conqueror in Ant-Man. Because remember, at the end of Loki, Loki ends up killing Kang the Conqueror. Well, Jonathan Major's good Kang the Conqueror, I guess. Now we're about to get the evil one, which is the one that we all know and come to love. You know, the one that likes to tamper with time. So as time goes on, we're going to see the story develop. Because we got from 2023, 2024, and all of 2025. Because all of 2025 is a, the Avengers, Kang Dynasty, and Secret Wars. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how does Kang Dynasty lead into Secret Wars? Well, the question you got to ask yourself is, how does all these other movies that and TV shows that are coming out how did all that lead into these two epic proportions of these epic stories? I mean, well, we got to go back and got to see how they did things when it came down to Thanos. See, with Thanos mainly, Thanos only popped up a certain amount of times throughout the MCU movies before he made his big, big, grandiose entrance like he did in Infinity War or, well, he was in Guardians of the Galaxy, so. But he made his appearance in Guardians of the Galaxy, but honestly, really, he made his first appearance in the first Avengers movie. As you know, at the post credit scene, you know, that alien was talking to him. He turns his face, and you got the Mad Titan. Mind you, that was 10 years of buildup, by the way. But each movie, we got a post credit scene that pointed towards what Thanos was going to do next. If the movie had to deal with an Infinity Stone, they... Then best believe either Thanos was in the post credit scene or he was made mention. But we finally got to really see him like say like, hey, OK, I'm about to make my move at the end of Age of Ultron, where he was all like, all right, if you want something done, you got to do it yourself. And he went and got the glove and everything. Then over over time, we just got to see more and more and more like, hey, Thanos is coming. Thanos is coming. Thanos is coming. So it'll be something like that. Loki's going to have to come and tell everybody about Kang, though. Him and Ant-Man are probably going to be the ones to inform everybody. Like, yeah, there's a, a time-traveling supervillain that's coming to, you know, get rid of all of us. Because you remember, the Hulk was the one that came down to planet Earth and told everybody about, you know, Thanos coming to kill everybody. Same thing. Either Ant-Man, Loki... Sylvie, which is the female Loki, or maybe a future Kane the Conqueror could come out and be all like, hey, uh, yeah, future me is coming to kill all y'all. Uh, I'm just going to let y'all know that just ahead of time. So pretty much that's how this is. Uh, each movie is going to work out. So they're going to have something to do. I want to say something to do, but they will make mentions to Kane the Conqueror somehow, some way, either through post credits or... He might have something to do with the story. Now, there's another villain that we also need to talk about as well. Because for some reason, for some sick reason, I feel like Doctor Doom is going to, is an MCU. He will make an appearance at the end of, 
I'm calling this right now, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I feel like, and, and this is what's been going around. I'm not the only, I didn't make this up off the top of my head. This is actually something that I've read. This is, if I could find an article, I would put it in the description below or whatever. But there is, they are saying that, these aren't my words, but they are saying that Doom is the reason why Namor's people are having, going to war with Black, with Black Panther and his people. And the reason being is because Doom wants that vibranium in the ocean. He sent some people to go get that vibranium. They ended up waking up Namor and his peoples. And he was thinking, hmm, it's the Wakanda. It, it got to be the Wakanda people. I swear to God, it's the Wakanda people. So he goes up there, starts a war with the uh, people of Wakanda. Kind of find out Black Panther's not with us anymore. So let's see how that story worked out. I honestly want to know who is going to be our Doctor Doom in MCU. I seen Howard Stern. I'm like, please don't let it be that dude. Please don't let it be Howard Stern. If it's Howard Stern, that's going to turn off a lot of people from the MCU. I'm, just, I'm calling it now. But Doom, Kane the Conqueror, two major villains in the MCU. You're probably asking yourself, is, uh, the town's not big enough for the both of them. Just not. Just not. That's where Secret Wars come in. So, and also, this is where Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness comes in. So, at the end of the Multiverse of Madness... Cle uh, Celia, Clelia, I always say her name wrong. I always get her name wrong. I think it's C-L-E-A. But she pops up at the end of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. She pops up looking all sexy and be all like, hey, you caused an incursion. Remember that word, by the way. You caused an incursion. Come help me fix it. Doctor Strange's like, sure. Third eye pops up on his forehead and he dips. That's it. Incursion is what now, the incursion, because I think Reed Richards said something about it earlier in the movie. See, that part right there where Reed is talking, it might have went over your head at that moment, but that part right there is a major, huge part. See, an incursion in the Marvel comic books is what start the Secret War. An incursion is pretty much all the universes, the multiverse coming into one. So this universe plus universe earth 12 earth 13 14 15 16 17 18 and so on and so forth for so forth is coming into one and they're all battling each other so it's pretty much the battle of heroes and villains so you'll have earth one captain america fighting earth two captain america so you might you might get to see captain carter versus steve rogers or captain carter versus steve rogers and sam wilson so that's what pretty much secret wars is it's pretty much a war in secret because I wouldn't say it's in secret because all the multiverses come together, but it just depends on how you put it, how you take it, and how you want to go about it. But that's pretty much how things start up. So technically, phase four has been building up towards it, especially with Doctor Strange, because right when she says, hey, incursion, I didn't really think about it at that time. I was like, no, oh, OK. But then once you see multiverse, multiverse saga, all that stuff. Then you go reread the comic and you be like, hold on, the incursion is the reason why all those universes ended in in the comics. And that's how we got Miles Morales in the 616. That's how we got a lot of other heroes that were real famous from other alternate universes come to the main universe. So that might also happen. So we'll we'll see right now. The lineup looks somewhat good because some some of these shows and movies I might not see. Like, I might skip over Echo. I'm I'm, I'm skipping over the Marvels for sure, but I'm skipping over Echo. Uh, just there's something here for everybody. Honestly, these next two years, three years of Marvel content, there's something there for everybody. So you might not get what you want right that month. But there's there's something, you know, Daredevil for all the edgy guys that love edgy Marvel stuff. Echo for I don't know who likes Echo. So but uh, did, yeah, I already said Daredevil, um, the Marvels for, you know, girl power, all that kind of stuff. So like I said, there's something here for everybody. But that's how that's what leads up to Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, especially Secret Wars. I, I already knew what leads up to Secret Wars, but Kang Dynasty is the main thing that I want to know because I don't think that actually that is a storyline in the comics, but, you know, Marvel's been changing up things, so I'm not going to really go in depth on that story either, so. But that's all I got for y'all. We're going to do some DC stuff tomorrow. We're going to do some more DC comic stuff later on this week because they did show us some stuff at San Diego Comic-Con. It wasn't a lot, but they did show us some stuff. But other than that, guys, I love y'all. Hope y'all taking care of yourselves. Peace.